Hello class, my name is Jeremy Settlemeyer, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a good collage. We're taking inspiration from one of the art pieces at the art museum. It is the Wrought Iron Gates White Picket Fence by Anno Palmer. She takes shapes and patterns and objects from around her house and cuts them out to silhouettes in paper and then she glues them or hangs them together so they're layered on top of each other. And that's what we're going to try to make today. If you guys get stuck on any of the steps in this video, you can pause, play, or rewind. Um, if you have any questions about the actual project, you can refer back to the written up lesson plan. And from there, let's get into the materials. So, for starters, you're going to want to get a thick board. This is a 16 by 20 poster board. You could use foam core or just a thicker piece of board as your baseboard to glue all the other papers together. From there you're going to want a bunch of colorful paper. I happen to find these note cards around my house that are a bunch of different colors that I'm going to be using. The art museum supplied me with these two colorful strips of paper that I plan on doing something with. Found some construction paper around my house that I'm going to cut out and collage together. And another really cool thing that a lot of you guys might have at your houses are envelopes. They have some really awesome patterns on the inside and you can cut them out and use that inside pattern. You will also want some just 8 by 11 printer paper. You can draw your own patterns, draw your own colors if you don't have colored papers. You can do whatever you want on this. From there you might want some colored pencils. I use colored pencils and markers. You might also want crayons, just something to add a little color to those papers. You will need a scissors or an X-Acto knife. Scissors are really handy, an X-Acto knife if you have negative shapes that you want to cut out, those are really nice. And with the X-Acto knife, you're going to want a self-heal mat or I'm using a cutting board since I'm at my house. Lastly, you're going to need something to stick it all together. You can use just scotch tape. The museum gave you guys all tacky glue. This is similar to Elmer's glue. I used Elmer's glue in my own, and I also used a little bit of rubber cement. These are all the materials you should need for this project, and let's get started. Alrighty, class. Once everybody has their materials, you can go ahead and start drawing. And remember, we're looking for the shapes and patterns from around our house. So, on these thin colored pieces of paper, I decided to go with just zigzags, and these will replicate kind of the stairs in my house. They'll stair step up. Uh, light bulb, because you got to have a light in every room. And then I have a lot of tacks just sticking in my wall to hold things. So this is a tack handle. And then this is a jar for my tea leaves. And it has these weird grooves on it that I just drew in lines and I plan to cut them out. And I'll show you how to cut those out. Something with an interior space can be good. Alrighty guys. On the cutting, I just wanted to show you a few things. There's a way to get this. If you bend the paper in zigzags, accordion fold, and then you draw what you want on there, you can cut it out and it'll string out and have the same image on every slide. The way you want to do this is when you're cutting, you want to leave this edge there. I haven't cut this edge yet, but so you boom. And you just have to keep a little bit of that edge there for the fold to hold them together. Like that. You can also if you want to accordion fold and just get a bunch of the same image, you can accordion fold and then draw your image on the top one and cut it out.
obviously neater than me. And that leaves you with a bunch of single ones that are all the same shape. And this little accordion left gives you the negative that could be fun to play with. The last thing with cutting that I wanted to show was the interior spaces. For this I am using an X-Acto knife and the cutting board. You can also use a self-heal mat. I find those to be nicer but I don't have one here at my house. And with this you just want to get the sharp X-Acto blade or a box opener would work if it's super sharp and you're just going to want to follow these pencil lines and it cuts real nice and just like so you can also do a bunch of little tighter cuts with it It's easier for interior spaces rather than using a scissors. Okay, so when you finish cutting out all of your pieces, you can start arranging them on the piece of paper and see how you want it. Try a few different options, see what works best for you. And then once you figure out how you want it, you can go ahead and glue it down. And for this project, I'm going to be using the Elmer's glue, just a regular white. And you don't need a lot of this, just dot, dot, not a lot. So boom, boom. So once you're done gluing, you just need to let your piece dry for a couple of hours. I already have mine done. I wanted to show you what I came up with as my final piece. Some of the things I want you to think about are what are the similarities and differences between yours and Io's piece? And how does your piece make you feel with the shapes in your house collaged together? I really like mine. kind of gives me a crazy feel with the zigzags steps being bright colors, but overall I'm happy with this. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys are happy with your final project too.